Hi there and welcome back to my channel. What materials do we really need for oil painting? Well, I have been watching so many videos on YouTube. Thickers, thinners, fillers, liquids, alkydes, fast dryers, slow dryers, varnish. I will get back to varnish later. It can get so frustrating and confusing, especially for beginners. I decided to create this video to simplify everything. I've been painting with oils since the age of 14. Today I'm 41 years old, so I have a little bit of experience, I think. Well, oil paint basically is crushed pigments mixed with linseed oil. So linseed oil is the main medium inside the tube. We can find expensive oil paint, pure high quality pigments, mixed with linseed oil. We can find cheaper oil paint, student's grade paint, for example, because it has more fillers like silica and other materials inside. Then we have thinners like Gamsol. We use Gamsol to clean our brushes, first of all, and during the first layer, for example, of the painting, when we want a wash of paint over the white canvas, because if you paint over a white canvas, it's very difficult to judge values. So we want something, you know, some kind of a burnt umber or something like that, just to wash and cover the white canvas. Then we have linseed oil. The main ingredient, the main medium in oil painting. Some of you may ask, why should we use linseed oil if we already have linseed oil with the pigments inside this tube? Well, Sometimes during the painting, we feel that the paint is too thick. So we want it to be a little bit, a little bit more manageable. So we put a little bit more of linseed oil so we can move the paint. We can spread the paint easier on the canvas. Then we have brushes. At the beginning of the painting, we usually use stiff hard hair. Why? Because we want to spread and we want to cover areas in the painting faster. When we use hard, stiff hair, it's very easy to move faster and cover areas faster on the canvas. And we have synthetic brushes, soft synthetic brushes, soft hair. These, we use these brushes for details, for soft edges, for blur effects. You know, at the end of the painting, not at the beginning. Then we have so many materials and mediums. For example, this is Naomi Gilp. This medium was used by painters, especially in Europe, for centuries. Now it's a modern version of this medium. Well, sometimes I use it, especially when I'm making a tutorial, not a finished painting, you know, a tutorial. I, I'm painting something as a lesson in YouTube or a tutorial. So I use Naomi Gulp. It makes the flow better. It's easier to, to move paint around. It makes the paint silky, some kind of, it feels silky to me, I don't know. But it bothers me because it, uh, it makes everything glossy. It bothers my vision during the painting. 99% of the time I never touch this medium. Then we have solvent-free gel. This one I use sometimes, also during tutorials, for example. Uh, it makes it faster, so I don't need to take linseed oil. I take from the same medium all the time. It dries faster, and, but it's glossy too. I don't like it. Mm. We have alkyd mediums too. They make the paint dry faster, but there's a problem. Oil paint needs days to dry to the touch. Sometimes it takes more than a year for all the layers to dry. So when we use alkyd mediums, we can make damage. Maybe in a year, two, three, five, maybe we will see cracks on the painting because oil paint wants time to dry. It likes time. So if you want your paint to dry faster, don't paint with oils. Paint with acrylic. Oil paint, one of the beauties 
of oil paint that it takes time. It gives us so much, so much freedom in painting. We can work on the same layer, we can merge color with another, we can add more details, we can delete everything, hours of painting, we can delete with a, you know, piece of paper from the canvas. So why playing with that? We don't want it to dry faster. We want to give it time. Then, as I promised, we have varnish. Do not varnish your paintings. Why? Two main reasons. First reason, as I said before, oil paint needs a lot of time to dry. So when you finish a painting and you want to varnish because it's now in the fashion, I see it in Instagram and TikTok, all painters and YouTube, they put varnish because it looks good in the camera. Do not varnish your paintings. When you put varnish on the painting, it's not your job. Your job is to finish painting, to paint, to make your art. There are so many specialists that specialize in restoring paintings, cleaning paintings, and varnishing paintings. That's not your job. The second reason you don't want to varnish your painting is clients. Maybe someone will buy your painting and he hangs the painting on his living room wall and there is a window and then he feels that the painting is too glossy. So why risking that? Maybe it's Maybe he wants it more glossy. Maybe two years later he wants to change that because he took the painting, it's not near a window, now it's in the bathroom. So it's not your job. He will take the painting to hundreds of thousands of stores specializing in varnishing and he will pay a little bit of money and they will varnish. What do you really need for oil painting? Oil paint, linseed oil, gamsol and brushes some hard, stiff hair, some synthetic. Paint, enjoy painting, see you next time.